Well, back here at home, Spokane police are hoping to arrest a man who's been committing sexual assaults along the Centennial Trail while on his bicycle. And that's where KXY 4's Jeff Humphrey has been working for you. Jeff, this suspect has already made a very public confession to these crimes. Nadine, it happened on somebody else's television station on Wednesday with this suspect admitting that his sexually motivated assaults were impulsive acts that he now regrets. However, Spokane police say being remorseful is not going to prevent this guy from getting arrested. You can credit Gonzaga University with sounding the alarm about this series of sexual assaults. Over the weekend, the school sent out an email warning students about a guy working the Centennial Trail and Gonzaga's River Loop Trail. You know, the short version is, is he's going by them and, and patting them on the behind. Victims say the suspect approached them on his bicycle and had pedaled by before they even knew what had happened. We started getting multiple calls to Crime Check reporting this kind of activity. Uh, I know that a, a good bulk of them were Friday and then Saturday. The suspect was described as a white male with a medium build, sometimes wearing a rainbow-colored bandana. However, before police could make an arrest, a guy named Jonathan Smith showed up at a local TV station and confessed to the crimes. Detectives can't rely on Smith's confession alone to charge him, and so they're gathering the evidence they need to forward this case to the prosecutor's office. It's unfortunate that there were so many victims, and so that's a lot of what the detective doing is sorting all that out right now and documenting it. During his TV confession, Smith said he'd never do it again. Spokane police want to make sure. The simple fact is, is people should be able to walk downtown. They should be able to walk through Gonzaga on the San Antonio Trail and not be assaulted. And especially because of that, the kind of the sexual component. No, it's not right and it's something that we're taking seriously. Investigators are also concerned about Smith's past. In 2010, police at Eastern Washington University arrested Smith on a forcible indecent liberties charge. That's for taking advantage of a woman who had drank too much during her 21st birthday. Nadine, after that 2010 incident, Smith apologized and also admitted that he was responsible for that incident. And that is one reason why Spokane police are not sure that he's sorry about the sexual occults that occurred here this weekend. Reporting live in Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXOI 4. Thank you, Jeff.